Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, um, it's Friday evening and I'm going to show you the first part of making Slimming World pancakes. Um, I have done a video on this before but uh, last week I did it a slightly different way and I felt that it was much much nicer. So you do have to do one step the night before um, but it, it actually makes it the process quicker. Um, but at a push, you know, if, if you're in a rush and you've forgotten to do it the night before, then I don't think it would hurt to do it the morning of uh, uh, when you want your breakfast. So yeah, Slimming World Pancakes. So what you will need is your oats. Just basic rolled oats will do. Uh, and obviously that's 40 grams for your healthy extra B. If you want to sin for them, check the sins out on the app but it's 40 grams for your healthy bee. Then you'll need um, two eggs. These are just medium. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Then you'll need a um, fat-free, sin-free yoghurt. I'm gonna use the Muller banana and custard. Um, it does work better if you use some of the plainer flavors so like your vanilla, your toffee, your banana and custard but uh, I think it tastes better if you use those kind of flavours but you can also use the fruit as well if you want to uh, so yeah, a sin free yoghurt you'll then need, I use um, sugar free syrup to sweeten it but you can always use sweetener if you want to um, I'm going to put some a sprinkle of cinnamon in because I'm obsessed with it at the moment and also you'll need a um, drop of vanilla essence or whatever flavouring you like. So that's what you'll need for your pancakes. Let's get started. Sorry, I always forget one thing. You'll also need some kind of blender. So this is, this, mine is a stick blender. It's the Kenwood. Andrew bought this for my birthday or was it Christmas? Um, or you can use like an electric blender or whatever you call them but this is just a stick blender and this will be absolutely fine something like this so let's get to it well the first thing we'll do is measure the oats so 40 grams of oats And you'll notice that even after 16 months on Slimming World, I still weigh my healthy extra every day. It's just not worth trying to estimate or guess the weight of your healthy extra B of your health, or any healthy extras. So that's 40 grams of oats. And then we'll take our two eggs. syrup to sweeten it. I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of cinnamon in, just a touch. Then I'm going to put a few drops of vanilla essence in. If you fancy some other type of flavouring then you could also use that. And then with your yoghurt you want about two tablespoons About roughly that much you'll get an idea once you've made them once or twice what it should be like and that's how much I've got uh, that's how much I've got left so then what you want to do is you've got all your mixture and if you're doing it in like an electric blender a, sta a stand mixer or whatever you call them then obviously you'd put this mix straight in your in your blender and blend it up but with a stick blender, you just want to start mixing and it's to blend the oats. I've 
blended that for a few minutes and you, you'll see the oats have completely blended in into the mix and then what you want to do is just leave that in the fridge overnight you can cover it up if you want to but uh, with some cling film or something uh, but I don't think I'll bother just leave that in the fridge overnight to be ready to cut your pancakes in the morning so I will see you tomorrow morning good morning guys so here's the continuation of the Slimming World pancakes um, if I forgot to say yesterday, um, all the ingredients in this recipe are free on the Slimming Whale plan if you are using the oats as your healthy extra B. So there's the mixture. You can see it's um, thickened up uh, considerably. Because the oats have taken on some of the yoghurt and liquid overnight. So it should be the consistency of sort of thick cream. Um, now I have seen people make these with quark, which would make it suitable for an SPD. Um, so if you wanted to try that, that would be fine. I would sweeten the quark and maybe add a little bit of water. Um, and also it would make it fill, quite filling as well, because quark is very filling. So you could always try that. So that's your mixture, so just give that a little stir. Then obviously you want your frying pan. And I always use um, butterfly light. So we'll just leave that to warm up. So the pan's up to heat now, so I'm just going to turn it down to about a medium heat and then I'm going to take my mix and I'm going to use a ladle. Uh, now obviously you can just pour it straight from the bowl, but this was one of the improvements that I found last week. I found it came out much better when I ladled them out, they're much thinner and more like pancakes. So I'm going to use a ladle just to do some rough round shapes in the pan obviously you can do them bigger or smaller that colour, that brownish colour if you can see that, that is just the um, cinnamon that you can see in there so I'll show you what they look like when they're when they're ready to be turned. Try and get you a bit closer to avoid the light. But that's what they look like. They've been on about a couple of minutes. Um, and if you just slide your thing paddle under them, you'll see that they're, they're so solid. And just turn them over. Oops. And just cook them, cook them for a couple of minutes on that side as well. Well, they've been on another couple of minutes on the other side. That's what they look like on the other side. That's absolutely fine. I'll just put those on the plate. And then we'll get a second batch going. You can re-spray with fry light if you want to, but I don't generally bother. You just get your ladle. You could try a bigger pan if you want to, to, um, to get more um, mixture in. But I can't really be bothered, so I'll just do it like this. And we'll wait for those to be ready to be turned. Try and explain what they look like when they're ready to be turned. You'll see the outside start to change colour and you'll see little bubbles coming through. Um, so they are ready to be turned. The 
yeah just a couple of minutes on each side that's all they need so there's the finished pancakes I got nine out of that mix so now I'll show you how I'm gonna serve them so there we go guys there's my summer world pancakes I've got plenty of raspberries for speed then I've got the other half of the banana and custard mull yogurt on the top and then I've got half a sin of sweet freedom chalk shot so for a teaspoon it's half a sin sweet freedom chalk shot so that plate will be my healthy extra B and half a sin for the chalk shot and I've got that with a black currant and blueberry fruit tea any questions please put them below please like comment and subscribe there's my slimming world pancakes and I'll see you again soon